Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, I'm Delilah or hey the Delilah.10 on Instagram. In the previous two videos, we have deep cleaned the entire house. Now every room needs a deep clean at some point of time and that goes double for the bathroom. Things like the toilet, bathtub, showers and faucets should be cleaned at least once a week and you should deep clean at least once or twice a month. Cleaning weekly helps you by keeping the washroom tidy and prevents bacteria from piling up. Okay, so you guys must have noticed that we have a separate shower area, in other words, a bathroom and a separate water closet. Let's start cleaning the bathroom first and then move on to the cleaning the water closet. Okay, so the very first step is to get all your cleaning supplies that you require for cleaning, followed by taking off the bathroom mats or door mats and getting them clean according to the directions mentioned on the label if there is one. After which I took out all the toiletries so that I could clean the toiletry shelf. So I'm gonna use the soft brush for the walls, the hard brush for the floor tiles and an old toothbrush for the grout. Now for the cleaning solution, I mix some Harpic bathroom cleaner and some water. You could also make use of homemade bathroom cleaning solution by mixing vinegar and baking soda. It works wonders. You can get rid of all the oil and grease in it. Now as we begin cleaning, dust all the walls or vacuum all the walls for any cobwebs and hair if you've got hair on your bathroom floor. With all the tiles for easy application of the cleaning solution, use an abrasive sponge or brush to scrub the greasy surfaces. You could use an old toothbrush to clean the grout. Can you see this guys, the oil and dirt has stained the walls. This could be worse if the water is hard. The grouting between bathroom tiles is like a magnet for dirt and germs. And it is very easy to miss these hard to reach or hard to see crevices during regular weekly cleaning. Using an old toothbrush could be an optimum choice to get rid of this dirt. Deep cleaning your bathroom regularly will help you to keep an eye on potential maintenance issues or decor that you can do. I know that there are areas that I need to address in my own bathroom. Do not forget to clean your soap holder as well as those tap knobs that have a buildup of grime and gunk. Along with this unpleasant grime, the tap knobs and other fixtures are prone to microbial growth. So cleaning them is of utmost importance. You like now a tip to get rid of any hard water or rust stains on tubs and sinks. Squeeze a little toothpaste on an old toothbrush and scrub it away. If your bathroom has a glass door, squirt on some shaving cream foam and clean wipe it with a dry rag. The foam will leave a film that keeps the door from fogging and makes it harder for the scum to stick. The bathroom bucket and mug also needs to be deep clean. Continuous use of these things leaves stains and marks of water on them. Now in order to clean them, I made use of some baking soda and the bathroom cleaning liquid. You could also make use of white vinegar and baking soda to get rid of these tough stains naturally. Repeat this process every month. Lufas, in other words, your body scrubber can contain fungal organisms that lead to skin infections. That is why it is important to make sure you keep your loofahs clean. Disinfect them with Dettol or any other antiseptic and replace them regularly. 
Toilet cleaning is very important for all human beings. It is the place prone to germs and bacteria that attack human body. Use quality products to clean the inside of the toilet bowl. Use the toilet brush to scrub under the rim and around the toilet bend for best results. Finally, flush the toilet after a couple of minutes. While you're waiting for the cleaning product to disinfect the inside of the bowl, you can start cleaning the toilet's exterior. Make use of a different brush to clean this area. Use an old toothbrush to clean areas that are hard to get. There's something that won't let me forget The way that you move It is said that the washroom is one of the dirtiest and most used rooms in the entire house. And it's the least fun to clean. Cleaning the washroom is not only a chore restricted to the adults. Kids are able to do many chores to help out. Of course, some of the chores need to be done each day, others once a week and some less frequently. Like flushing the toilet, putting the dirty clothes in the laundry basket, hanging the towels on the hook, wiping down water splashes on doors and walls, wiping any water spills, emptying the waste bin and so on needs to be done on a daily basis. Now the toilet brush is the most gross thing if not cleaned regularly. Always disinfect your toilet brush. The easiest way is to add some bleach to your toilet bowl full of clean water and leave it there for about an hour and then flush it. I've also used Dettol to disinfect the brush. Use a squeegee wiper also known as a flow wiper to drain the excess water. I like a clean and dry bathroom. Draining the excess water after a shower regularly helps to keep the bathroom clean and dry. Having this habit will help you to get rid of grime that builds up after taking a shower. Disinfecting your bathroom is extremely important especially if you have family members with a suppressed immune system. The appearance of the new coronavirus reminds us of how important it is to take extra care of our personal hygiene. Some high touch areas in your bathroom you should keep disinfected at all times are the bathroom door handles, the faucets, toilet flush button, the toilet seat cover in order to protect you from any infections and toilet bone disease. Lastly, spray some air freshener since they help to fight bad odors and ensure continuous freshness. I hope today's video was an inspiration to not only adults but to everyone out there. If you like the video then do not forget to like, subscribe and share the video link with others. Until then bye bye, take care and stay safe.